Hey guys, welcome to part two of using a mesh to build a model terrain. So today I'm going to take you through part two, which will be bringing in um, contours from a 2D drawing and using them for the terrain that you want to build and manipulating it using cut or fill or putting it on stilts. And then there will be a part three of how to work the terrain to put in a drive through and all. So today let's concentrate on bringing a 2D drawing with contours and fitting your building on an existing site of already drawn contour line. So let's get to it. So let's say you have your mesh. Again, you can draw a polyline just to have your edges in place. So I'm going to copy this. And then I have a drawing I brought in. You can see my other video on how to bring in um, DWG drawings. AutoCAD drawings, D, X, F, D, W, F that you have worked with. And um, this is just, this I think is Lueza, Lueza side. Um, so let's say you you want to build your house. You bought a plot of land along the road. Uh, let's say you're at the top of the hill. Yeah. So I'm going to con Command V and bring in this profile so this is the plot of land you have bought by the road it's nice top of the hill very nice let me give it another color so that you can see it more yeah hope you can see that so let me just rotate it command e just so that this is the plot you bought just assuming so you pick these contour lines and good thing they're not grouped. I'm going to split them along the edges because sometimes you don't want to bring in this whole line. This line is really long and these are things that can make your drawing really heavy. So you just want to pick only what you have along the edges of it. And so I'm going to copy that with this copy and then I bring it back. Yeah, so I'd rotated it now. This I can rotate it back. Control E. Oh, I can actually con uh, just rotate the drawing since we're going according to the profile of the road. Yeah, and so there is your building. Uh, it's quite small. Probably you do a bigger building with such a plot of land, but that's not the case. The case is just to bring in the contour line. So now you're putting existing contour lines. And it's good to read um, the contour lines. Like this line is about one two two eight, and the next one is one two two six, and it continues like that. So that gives us which the higher point is. So this is the higher point, and in your finished drawings, you'll have to show which contour line you, you used and cut. So again, uh, and then of course you know this is the north. And this is the south, which is important, depending on where you live. If you live in Uganda, near the equator, then you know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And if you're working with a building, then you're going to have your shorter sides there. So this is a nice um, thing. So you can either put the building, like rotate it just to fit within a contour, and then maybe make this contour a bit flat to fit your building. But if your building is humongous, like you're building a really big building, let's say it's like that, then you, you're you going to, um, you're going to have to work with these contours. So like I said, you can either cut or fill. So let's say you want your building to kind of sit with the profile of the site. And have your shorter sides of the building with um, north and east. And so how are you going to work with these contours? So right now these contours are polylines. I know I say I know you I said you draw with uh, splines, but sometimes when it comes, it's saved as a polyline. So you can still work with a polyline. It's fine. Um, just that splines are more wavy and make more sense for buildings. So right now. Um, I can either decide to cut that that means I, 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 I take this line here and 
cut it along the edges of the building to cut the land or I can fill, that means starting from this contour, I can fill it up. Yeah, and so this whole space maybe would be on the same level. Or you can have stilts. Stilts then, with stilts you can, you can, you can kind of either leave the building or let it flat along just maybe this edge is, um, is flat and things like that. You can remove this. If you press command, it will give you a pair of scissors and you can remove this edge. So I'm removing this edge because I've changed the contour line. I've kind of cut into it. And so this whole part is following and so I'm just going to have this like um, on stilts or something or again if you want this whole part flat you can do exactly that it's about what you want really so let's say we pick all the poly lines we click on the mesh and then we click mesh here press your space button and get the wonder uh, and then fit all edges, fit all edges, yeah, and so let's have, let's have this at um, zero, apply it all edges, let's have this at negative 1000, negative 2000, negative 3000, and negative 4000. Now we can have this at negative 4000, since this is between negative 2000 and negative 3000, maybe we can have it at negative 2500 just to try and make it look realistic. Let's see what we're working with here. Um, ground is, um, you don't have to really worry about materials unless you're going to render with Archicad, but right now. So you can see a part of the building is sitting on flat ground and the rest is kind of like hanging. So this is where the stilts will go. Um, if we make a section through, then I can show you how it's sitting. So if you make a section through the building, open this section so you can see this is this is the line and this is the building and so this part would be on stilts or you can extend this so that the whole building is flat and then maybe just drops down here or you could cut where you put the building down here and then cut. Like I showed you, you can put the building down and then cut from this line. You draw a line like this and then there you've cut into the space. Okay, and that's part two of how to use the mesh tool to build your uh, model terrain. Uh, stay tuned for part three where I'll be manipulating the site, putting a drive through and parking space. Don't forget to subscribe down here. You see the subscribe button? Please subscribe, like, share. Uh, make my, my channel a bit more popular. Uh, thank you. Please comment. Um, encourage me. Tell me the things that you want to learn with AkiCAD. Tell me other softwares that you want me to make future tutorials on. And yes, let's build a community of people who teach, uh, who give out the information they have for free. Uh, let's educate the masses. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for other videos or go ahead and watch other videos that I've made on in the card lounge and other projects. Thank you.